what is present moment and what it means to be in the present moment. Quite often uh, people ask me, what do I do? Or uh, ask me what to do to be simply present. That requires some practice and some understanding of how our mind works. The mind wants us to be either in the present or in the future, so during the day we are pretty much jumping from being in the past. So our mind wants us to be either in the past or in the future, and during the day we are always jumping between being in the past and being in the future. When we are in the past, uh, the moment the memories comes up, and then we start playing the stories, which no longer exist. The only attachment to the stories is emotional attachment. The stories are bringing up the feelings and emotions associated with that story. But the story itself does not exist. The story is done. The, the scenario was already played. But the memory of it, it's still in our mind. So we are tell when we are telling ourselves the story, we either feel sad, uh, melancholic, quite often we feel guilty, we, re we regret things, we are depressed. Would be very easy to just stop playing the story, right? When we are in the future, when our mind brings us to the future, which really does not exist, we start playing another story which will might never happen, which doesn't exist, it only exists in our mind. And the story only exists in our minds. The story of outcomes dreams and you know there's nothing wrong with dreaming we all have a dreams we all have a plans it's go good to have it it's just normal but when we are in the future and we are playing the negative scenario of events of the outcomes then we are bringing ourselves into the anxiety mood we become anxious and we start worrying. I remember many times when I was in that position when I would be in the future and worry to death. Things never happened. I spent nights, sleepless nights, worrying about stuff which never happened. And in fact, my life took me into different directions, and I was never at the place when I was worried about to be in the future. So the best thing for us would be to practice being in the present moment. And truly, this is the only moment we have, and that's the only story we have. It's the moment of now. The rest does not exist. Meditation helps when you wake up in the morning instead of like turning your phone on and checking the emails, checking Facebook and social media. Just take a deep breath and sit with your eyes closed and just bring yourself into the present. Start breathing, focus on your breathing and meditate for a few minutes before you even start your day. The good practice is also to read something positive 
or have your journal and write down all of the things you are grateful for in your life. Another tool is to pause during the day and just go outside, even for a few minutes. If you can go outside and close your eyes and look at the sun, or just simply feel the wind on your face. Even if it's only one minute, it's worth it. When you find yourself in a situation where you worry, where you're jumping between present and the future, and your mind goes crazy, it's a monkey mind, just stop and focus your attention on breathing. That's it. Just breathe. In the present moment, you create your future. In the present moment, you're just cutting yourself off the past and all of the unpleasant emotions and feelings associated with the story played in your past. What also helps is mantra that helped me to train our mind to stop. So mantra is a sentence, a word, your personal thing, which will help you to tell your mind and give your mind an order to stop. It can be one word like love, it could be a sentence like life is beautiful, I am wonderful, or simply I am or God is wonderful, God is good, if you believe in God, the universe is fantastic, whatever mantra you can pick up, whatever words are resonating with you, speak to you, will be good. So the minute you are feeling stressed out, the meaning you're feeling anxiety and worrying, then you say this mantra and after a while your brain, your mind will make a connection with this mantra and then will know and then you say it out loud or in silence that your mind will just simply stop. Just imagine how wonderful that would be. You probably heard a lot about mindfulness. It's uh, nothing else like being in a moment and practicing the mindful doing, mindful eating when you are fully engaged in the process and the act of eating and when you are um, feeling the food, tasting the food, processing the food, you have this profound connection with, with your food. Drinking tea or coffee, the same thing, when you are actually aware of that, when you're enjoying a cup of coffee or tea, when you feel the warmth and a taste in a mindful way. And when, then when you talk to somebody, just, just be present for that person and just listen. And just hold the space. When you drive, you drive. When you're on the phone, you're on the phone. Just don't do a few things at one time. It's only a present moment. When we breathe, when we live, when we process things, when we are, we are fully engaged, when we are fully engaged, 
in living in life. So just close your eyes and take a deep breath through your nose. Hold and exhale through the mouth. Just take another breath in through the nose. Hold and exhale through the mouth. And just return to your normal breathing and just notice how you feel. Just do nothing else but follow your breath and focus on that. And if you already have your mantra, you can use it anytime you want. I like to use mantra I am, so when I breathe in, I say I, when I breathe out, I say am. So when the thoughts appear, I just say it, I am. And this mantra I am not only connects me within myself, but also with divine and with the universe. This is an essence of me. This is who I am in that moment. I am. So if you choose to use this mantra, please do so. And just notice how you feel. Just observe your breath and simply be. Find yourself in this moment. And you can go to the silence now and be in the silence for as long as you want. I thank you for listening. Enjoy your silence. Enjoy the presence. This is your moment. This is your moment of now. Just breathe and simply be.